VPSA, welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll be unboxing a wireless mouse that I got from Jumia. Now, the interesting thing about this wireless mouse is the price. It costs 300 bob. It was actually 299 when I buy it. And as you can see here, I've got 299 ultra slim, 2.4 gigahertz optical wireless mouse plus receiver. So let's just see what you get in the package. So I'll do the unboxing and then I'll just test it on my computer. And then I'll just give you the final verdict of whether it's worth your 300 bob or not. So without wasting any more time, let us begin. So kuifungua, just open it, hapa bila formula. Just tear this paper. And let's see what we have inside. So in Akuza, at least with spare batteries or yeah, it comes with batteries at least. I was wondering, come on, because you know it's a wireless mouse, so it needs a power source. And I was thinking, hey, it maybe didn't buy better, but at least uh, they sort you out. And let us see inside here. It's actually wrapped quite securely. Like I take Yanguka down, it's hard for it to get spoiled. Uh, uh, let's just see. So this is this bubble wrap, that we have a candle, and here we have two, these are double A batteries, so I have two double A batteries, this is the box, and um, it's apparently grey in colour, let's just see how it looks inside, and, and the box only has the wireless mouse itself. Let me just put this aside. This is the wireless mouse. Let me just open this package again. It's wrapped in bubble wrap again for protection. And yeah, nothing else inside here. This is how the wireless mouse actually looks. So, inside can see here you need to put in a single battery one of the AA batteries and well, um, there's one thing that uh, the, the wireless receiver itself and uh, you need to connect it to the mouse uh, to the computer rather I don't know if it's I think it's this one but uh, not sure how in a fakutoka PV. So there's no instruction manual or anything you just get the mouse itself and yeah <laughs> i know story mingi now let me just pause the video and see if this is the receiver and then i'll just get back to you guys in one minute so this is indeed the receiver which you need to connect to your computer or your laptop so that it can enable the wireless mouse to function so let me just put in the battery and then we will move to my computer and then we just connect it to the computer and see if it up your job um, this one cinema Kasi. just use my hands and just put it inside yeah, seems to work. So yeah, let's go connect this to the computer and then just see if the mouse works. Just one minute. So here we are in my bedroom where I have my computer and it's a desktop. You can also use this mouse with a laptop. So you just connect the receiver to any of the USB ports. You just connect it to this one. Ah, it's supposed to be the outside. Oi. Sorry. Yes. So once I connect it on the computer, it's saying setting up. 
and device is ready the setup and ready to go so i have the wireless mouse here you press this button here on top to turn it on and yeah you can see it working you don't even can see the pointer on the screen if i right click the way may come refresh right click again refresh actually have a normal mouse here that i've been using but because of the wires and all that stuff and my desk can easily become disorganized that earlier it's quite organized because of this video but normally this uh, normal mouse in a, in a potianga sometimes it just gets hidden on all these stacks of papers that i have but now this wireless one it's quite handy because yeah akuna wires and it seems to work quite easily just i just connected and voila you can get a job and what i'm going to do is test it out for at least a few days to a month or so and just give you a verdict on how it works but so far i'm quite impressed it's not the best looking mouse but for 300 bob like you cannot definitely uh, criticize it criticize it too much and yeah so far i'm liking it so i'll just test it out for a month for you guys and then in case of anything i'll just let you guys know but if you want an easy to connect mouse you, you just saw what we did to connect just the receiver to the computer and voila we just turned on the mouse you can turn it off or on using this button and voila you have your mouse working so let me just test it out for a while you can let a shader or anything that is or it starts behaving weirdly i'll just let you guys know but for now it's looking like a very good deal for 300 bob i'll just update you guys after a while so that's the video for today thank you guys for watching i'll just catch you guys in the next one and just for now like and subscribe nah, bye for now